I'm going to show you how to add a post, update files, use form publisher, add and create blocks, create a new job opening, Cave Consulting, transforming the way you work. Hello, this is Taylor from Cave Consulting, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Autocrat for merging data in Google Docs. First, in your Google Drive, you're going to want to create a folder for your data. Select this folder. And from here, you'll either want to create a Google Sheet or move a Google Sheet already in your drive into this folder. Go into that sheet. And now you will want to add Autocrat by going to Extensions, selecting Add-ons, going to Get Add-ons, searching up Autocrat and installing it. Your next step will be to go back to the folder you created and create a template document for your data merging. These are called tags and will allow for easy mapping when you merge your documents. To create a tag, you will need to have the exact title of your row and place them inside brackets like this so that when your data is merged, whatever is in that row will be placed right where this tag is. There are also a couple of other important tags that you might want to use on your document. This tag here will automatically insert the date that the form was filled out, and this tag here will always insert the time that the form was filled out. Now that your template has been created, go back to your spreadsheet and open Autocrat by going to Extensions, Autocrat, and Launch. From here you will select New Job, and you will want to name it something easy to find and organize. Next you will select your template document that you just created. In this next step, you will be mapping the fields from your sheet to your document. Be sure first that the correct sheet is selected. Now make sure that your tags line up with the column name. Select Next. And now you will want to give each of your files a name. You can use tags for these titles as well, so that each individual file is easy to distinguish. Make sure that the folder that is selected is the same folder that has your sheet and template inside. If it is not selected, you can go to Choose Folder and select it yourself. Steps 6 and 7 are unnecessary and can be skipped, but offer further customization options. In Step 8, you can choose to share your merge documents and send emails. Select Yes, and now you can change the permissions of the shared documents. Allow those who the documents have been shared with to reshare the documents. And here you can fill out how you would like the email to appear and who you would like the emails sent to. First, fill out the email who you would like the documents sent to. You can have multiple different emails in this box by separating with commas. You can also insert a tag here if an email that you would like the forms sent to is an option on your sheet. In the reply to box, you will put the email that you would like recipients of these emails to reply to. Now you can format the email. You can also use tags in the subject and the body of the email. If you would like certain fields to be visible in the email, you can insert them as tags. From here, you're going to select Save. To run the merge job, select this play button. Once the job has been run, check the folder, the documents, and if you set up the option, the emails to ensure that everything looks correct. 